name is Ryan Johnson. I'm a farmer in eastern Kansas. Uh, we farm about 2,000 acres of mostly corn and soybeans, a little bit of wheat. This is my third year farming here, my second year running the farm. I grew up on a farm in western Nebraska. My dad farmed with his dad and his dad before that. They had to quit when I was in high school and so I had a job working with investment management prior to coming here and working on taking over this operation. It would not have been possible for me to afford to get started here without the help of Bob, whose operation this was before I got here. I have substantial commercial credit on top of money I borrowed from him, and I'm renting equipment from him and leasing the facilities to make it all go. And now I've been working on purchasing equipment and transportation and all the things I need to, to get it to work and be mine and own it eventually. Uh, it's just a long process. Part of the reason we came down was because it looked like it was a reasonably good investment. The farm here is large enough to support a family and support itself and make some money on top of that. My wife grew up in a farm family. I grew up in a farm family. We enjoyed the opportunity to come back into it. So it was mostly about family. We are located in a good place to be farming because we are close to the end buyers of our crops. So we are not subject to as much basis risk. We had opportunities to hedge our crops uh, for last year and this year over the past two years where we had reasonably good prices and we could make a, a you know, 10 or 15 percent profit margin. And this year, as we've come into harvest, there's been more opportunities to hedge future crops. So far, the financial side of the decision has been just fine. And having our family all here together and doing something that we grew up doing and raising our kids here, everybody's enjoying it. My previous experience is priceless. I had experience with futures and options and stock market investing and private equity. All of those things brought a skill set to this endeavor that not very many ag producers have. And I cannot imagine how I could have been successful making this transition without those skills. At this point, knowing that, that I'm the one that's financially at risk for the success of the operation, mostly how I see Bob is as a very valuable resource. He helps me out during the busier seasons and he's the one that has the body of knowledge about what farming in East Central Kansas is like for the last 45 years. And so the two of us have worked very well together having different things that we can add value on a day-to-day -day basis. Over the long term, I expect that we will continue to have more and more environmental restrictions placed on us and how we operate. I think a lot of the technological gain that we've seen in the last 20 years were the sea changes. I think on top of this now it will be more about how you apply them. Uh, so step changes from this point forward. I think that global supplies will continue to grow. Cost competitiveness will be as important in the future as it has been for time immemorial. Being the low cost producer will, will be the important factor in ag commodities. The crop this year was very hard to guess how it was going to turn out. Our soybean planting was spread out across six weeks uh, because of the weather. Uh, it was too wet early, stayed wet, and then all of a sudden the rain just stopped in early June and it was hot and dry. So we had a very wide range of emergence in our crop coming out of the ground. We've been harvesting beans now for about a week. Uh, the beans that were planted first uh, have so far been our best, which should, is not a surprise. The later planted beans, it's been very hit or miss. Overall, the yields are off about at least 10% from last year, uh, but last year was above average. There was just too much dry weather in August. We had very little rain for a month. Quality so far is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we did not have any real disease problems. The beans look great. They're just smaller than last year. 